All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be working with percent of a number using the proportion method. Only our example question says 44 is 32% of what number? Now, these can be a little bit tricky. Using the proportion method, we have to first set up a proportion, which is made up of two equivalent ratios. 32% can actually be written as 32 per 100, in which 32 represents the part and 100 represents the whole. This is a ratio of part to whole. Now, when we're setting up our equivalent ratio on the other side, we have to know which part is the part and which is the whole. It says 42 is 32%. So 42 is actually comparable to 32. Since 32 is the part, then we know that 44 is comparable to 32, and that rec can be recognized as the part as well. That means when it says of what number, the number that we're trying to find is the whole and can be comparable to 100 in the percent. Now all we have to do to solve this problem, if you're not able to recognize a relationship between the different numbers here, is to multiply the cross products. 32 times x equals 32x. And we multiply the other cross products, or find the other cross products. 100 times 44, or 44 times 100. Then we simplify both sides by actually multiplying over here. And now since we have 32x, and we want to find out what just x is by itself, we're going to do the inverse of multiplication, and the inverse operation is division. Now you'll notice both sides are being divided by 32. We divide both sides by the same value. Thanks to our division property of equality, it will not change the value of either side. It's just going to help us to isolate the variable all by itself and get the answer 137.5 because 4,400 divided by 32 is equal to 137 and 5 tenths. And that is how you solve when you're given a part of a number and what percent it is using the proportion method. See ya!